Hey guys, this is the second video in our series of startups in Germany and today I'm sitting with Otto. He is the founder of Nautilus Log. The place where we are at right now is one of the 12 digital hubs in Germany which is focused towards logistics. So Otto, welcome and you know, introduce something about your company, tell us the story, tell us the motivation. My name is Otto, I'm one of the founders of Nautilus Log. We are developing a digital logbook for shipping. We started three years ago with the idea after my brother told me about his work uh, in the maritime industry. He worked as a surveyor in Asia for a few years and it was all of paperwork. Mm -hmm. yeah, so much paperwork and uh, uh, data fragmentation and transferring data and double reporting from one um, computer system to another. So we created the idea of Nautilus Log and tested this with uh, shipping companies, with charter, with ports and we developed so many ideas. And yeah, after three years we are now uh, almost uh, hitting the market. We have our first clients and uh, yeah, improves the system. So what kind of challenges did you face when you wanted to put your idea to the companies? And we had a lot of challenges. Mm -hmm. um, uh, first, um, there are so many papers because there are so many laws which uh, force the ship owners to use paper. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they, they have to do this. and. Um, that's one thing we needed to change this. So we're working on new regulations with, for example, the Deutsches Institut für Normen mm -hmm. and uh, also with flex dates. Mm -hmm. And um, the other part is that the uh, uh, maritime branch does not know startups before. They're not okay. experienced with it. Mm -hmm. So um, every time we go to a shipping company, it's like, uh, it's a cool idea and we really like to use this, but are you there as a startup in, in two years? Mm -hmm. What about then? Mm -hmm. So this is difficult. So we need to prove um, and to um, to gain trust in the market. Mm -hmm. yeah. And and how did you find, find your way around this? Did you also face problems from the government or was it just like mainly the companies which didn't want to put the idea yeah. in the play because the laws were like that? Yeah. Um, with the government, mm -hmm. that was surprisingly easy. Okay. Yeah, because at, at one time, uh, we were, I remember we were in a test phase mm -hmm. in 2017 on board of a ship, mm -hmm. and there was one crew guy who who told to us, "Hey, uh, just replace this books, please." Yeah. 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 So we don't uh, need to write down the information in the book and then mm -hmm. transfer it to system A, B, C, D. Mm -hmm. um, that would be a good idea. Mm -hmm. So we asked the shipping company, hey, "Is it a good idea to replace these books?" Mm -hmm. And they say, "Yeah." But uh, it's impossible. You can't do this. <laughs> this by law and by government. Okay. Uh, so, so, okay, then maybe we can just ask the government yeah. if they are willing to to change this. Mm. So we asked them, and they said yes. We need to digitize or to, to digitalize, mm -hmm. and uh, if we don't do this, uh, we we can stop working here in Germany. Okay. So this was quite easy, and that was. Uh, um, the reason we get in touch then with uh, Deutsches Normungsinstitut and uh, we have with Flexdate and yeah, things are started. Okay, okay. And tell me about the operative side of Nautilus Log. So like how exactly things work. You have an app, what kind of players use the app, what kind of people are involved and so on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Nautilus Log is a solution for various actors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What we do is we put the ship in the, to the middle, mm -hmm. yeah, to the center and connect it with partners around. Mm. Yeah? So what we do is we collect data with the crew, but also with experts. So to say we have two kinds of operation modes. We have operational modes mm -hmm. for the crew. Mm -hmm. There you can just download the app on board, um, plug it under a window like in a car yeah. if you like to do this, and press start. Mm -hmm. Then the ship gets tracked, mm -hmm. we generate events like ship is uh, moving, ship is stopping, is in a, is a, um, head off to, to an envi environmental area, mm -hmm. yeah, and then we also generate uh, tasks for the crew. Mm -hmm. For example, we, we remind the crew to change over fuel right before mm -hmm. they reach an uh, environmental zone. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, um, you can uh, you, you as a surveyor, for example, can download the application and get on board mm -hmm. and make your documentation. Okay. So. And in the end, we have a, a lot of data, and we transform the data then into added value. Okay. Yeah. And by transferring the data into added value, for example, an emission report or an IHM report, mm -hmm. an inventory of hazardous materials, the shipping company or the certification company um, save a lot of time. Mm -hmm. So, 
and that's the moment uh, where, where we uh, make um, profit. So like Nautilus Log is like still like more into the B2B side rather than the B2C? It's only B2B. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. So Otto, like what do you see, like what would be the ideal shipping industry like when you think about all of the parts that you would like to digitalize? Oh, oof. After um, over three years, we have a lot of ideas. Okay. We have ideas with um, charters, with shipping companies, yeah, with ports. Imagine smart ships, smart ports. There's, there's so much what we can do. But mm -hmm. right now we need to focus. We are a small team. Mm -hmm. And um, but uh, if I have wishes, yeah, um, I would like to see Nautilus Lock on board of every ship, of course, mm -hmm. yeah, and connected to as many as possible partners uh, on the land side. Now you are also in the digital hub of Hamburg. What kind of advantages did you have of being here, of being in this ecosystem where like other startups are also there? First, it's a co-working space um, we can use really easy. Mm -hmm. We can just use more space if we need it. Mm -hmm. uh, um, a really good part is we are now here located direct in the, in the heart of, of the Speicherstadt. Mm. So it's really easy to uh, to get in touch with other companies. Mm -hmm. So around here there are so many shipping companies, we can just walk. This mm -hmm. is really easy. Um, Second part is we are really close uh, to the government, mm -hmm. so um, we are, we see them here. We can do press conferences together. This uh, brings also trust for us in the maritime market because they they can open doors. Mm -hmm. And um, the the other part is uh, so we get financed uh, with a small part of uh, our project. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we we asked for help, so um, they found that Nautilus Lock is a good idea. Mm -hmm. So. This was really good for us also, and uh, but I think I really think the biggest part is the networking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, last week um, we had a senator here, and um, you, he he took some time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, and we can um, explain what we are trying to do in detail, mm -hmm. and this is really helpful for us because mm -hmm. uh, they really take the topics and uh, try to find solutions for your problems. Mm -hmm. This is really good. That's that's really interesting. So. Um, I think the main advantage is like the biggest that I see is definitely that you're closer to the government like rather than in other co-working spaces where of course you have the opportunity of networking but you might not be as close to the government as you are here because this is a government initiative. Exactly. Okay. And the network which is connected here is more specific. Mm -hmm. So you don't need to, to, to search for it. You have mm -hmm. to find the best uh, opportunities because mm -hmm. He is all, it's all about logistic. Mm. Mm -hmm. and that's what we do. Like you were the first one here. Mm -hmm. how, how did it work? So like the, the government asked you, hey, you want to be here? Or like, did you see this opportunity of like the digital hub of Hamburg and then you applied or I don't know how things work. So tell us a bit about it. It started with an email mm -hmm. from uh, Karl-Heinz Piotrowski. Mm -hmm. No, it started before. We had an appointment with the Hamburg Port Authority. We had mm. a meeting and explained what we are doing. Mm. And it was interesting. And they told us, yes, we can do a pilot or yeah, do something together. Mm. And magically, one or two days later, I got an email from the hub. Okay. But it was the pre-time of the hub, so the mm -hmm. hub was not founded right there. Mm -hmm. um, but they invited us to take part as a discussion for goals for the, for the hub. Mm -hmm. yeah, there were invited companies and startups and everyone uh, was um, w explaining what they need from the hub. Mm -hmm. So, and um, I found this quite uh, exciting. So I, I, I started to work here. As I said, I, I want to work this here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Please start the hub. Okay. And um, uh, from that moment, I also saw the hub growing because the hub um, was also a startup mm -hmm. in this fast. Mm -hmm. So this was quite interesting to see. Like the company, like you said, it, it's it's still a bit small, but it's already being accepted in the maritime industry. So if you would be looking for some kind of recruitment for mm -hmm. your company, what would be your ideal candidates or what kind of people you would be looking for? Yeah, right now we're looking for mobile developers mm -hmm. because it's it's really difficult to find good mobile developers on mm -hmm. the market. Everyone is uh, programming apps. Yeah. yeah. Also our automotive industry mm -hmm. that they, they take so much uh, resources from the market. So a mobile developer, uh, yeah, would be the perfect fit right now. Okay. So I think like there all of the Indians can come inside. <laughs> all right. So um, mobile developers. How many people are in the company right now? We're eight people. Eight people. Okay. Yeah. So and like. 
it's still like more like a small family like you can just like meet everybody talk to everybody or like everybody's based in different cities no? yeah it's it's difficult yeah we can, we, we have uh, developers in mexico mm -hmm. and um we have developers here in hamburg mm -hmm. and one guy is living in paris mm -hmm. so it's it's okay. difficult to to uh, to get all of them together on a table yeah. so we need to use slack and different tools yeah mm -hmm. it's not not easy every time but uh, it's possible to do this in that way. Okay, perfect. Yeah, yeah I would um, say um, digitalization mm -hmm. yeah, is uh, doing stuff together and combining good ideas and uh, belief in your dreams. And if, uh, if you also think like that, uh, you can uh, send me an email as a mobile developer, of course, also. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> and, absolutely. And uh, you're always welcome to, uh, to visit us here in the Hub to, uh, to, to know more about us and the Hub, of course. And yeah, if you are in Hamburg, just let me know and uh, visit us. That's really nice. That's really nice, Otto. Thanks a lot for this nice message. Exactly. Anybody who is interested or who is a really good mobile developer, you can feel free to send your uh, inquiry or your CV or whatsoever. Just feel free. I will put the link of the company in the description so that you can just approach them. You can see what they are doing, what kind of need they might be having and you can get in touch with Otto and be a part of this new initiative of just digitalizing the whole logbooks and parts of the maritime industry into a more digital world. So again, thanks a lot Otto for sharing your experiences and your goals about the company with us. Thanks a lot viewers for watching this video. We'll see you some other time. Thanks for joining in. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.